Hey, how's it going everybody? Coach Kyle here and I'll explain more about this routine as we go along, but we start off with 15 simple body weight squats. And you'll see here I'm doing these at a park and I like this routine because it doesn't require me to actually get in table position on the ground with my knees on the ground or it doesn't require me to get on my back on the ground. It's all um, standing up. So I, can, I like to do these in the shade of these trees. I'll end my run here do the routine here in the shade and then walk the two minutes back home and the progression is we have uh, 15 sets we start off with the body weight squats as you saw and here I'm going into 16 lunges eight lunges on each side and then I'll do 16 one-legged deadlifts eight on each side and sort of the progression is that I will for the first set just do simple squats, lunges, and one-legged deadlifts. And for the second set, I'll add a little bit. So for this one, you'll see I'm, I'm reaching for the lunges. And that's just another little extra way to hit that high hamstring, the lower glute a little extra. And for set two, I might do the typical, the normal body weight squats. With the lunges, I, I don't know if I did them in this video, I might reach to the side. So I might reach to the left and to the right differently with each lunge. And then the one-legged deadlifts, again, I'll just do the one-legged deadlifts. Here we go. And with these and with the lunges, keep in mind, try to maintain your hips to be level. Um, working on that, being conscious of keeping your hips level while doing these strength routines will add a little bit to the to the movement so you're not kind of compensating for weakness by letting your hips drop and then hopefully the goal is that when we run our hips our legs are stronger so we have less hip drop while running as well so after these what I'll typically do like I said set two will be maybe nor again you know and it's not it's not that big of a deal the details the important thing is to just do it but set two I might do normal body weight squats the lunges will be reaching lunges maybe to the side in and out and then normal one-legged deadlifts and then set three I might do um, jump squats instead of just normal squats and then for the lunges I might do <clears throat> something where I do maybe uh, and you'll see them here I'll do skip skip lunge where I'm kind of in a lunge position and then I have to explode up into a skip into a high knee drill almost and then I go down into a lunge so it's a super dynamic lunge and then the one-legged deadlifts again are one-legged deadlifts so th that progression is really nice where it starts off with three movements pretty easy and it ends with three movements that are more dynamic with the jump squats and the, the skip skip lunges let's see what am I doing here skip skip lunge and that is really nice because you have to you have to jump out of that lunge and you have to go into the lunge through motion and it's really running specific it's a real dynamic exercise and one thing I want to stress is that like I said it's not that big of a deal what the details are I'm at the point now where I could do 30 reps for each set and just barely feel it the next day and if I were to do this at, do this at home I would add some weight into it but like I said again um, play around with it play around with the sets play around with the reps and I do like to, and I don't think I did them here but I do like to add uh, calf drops into these as well and those I might wait until I get home and do them on my front step because it's nice to have a little uh, something there next to the step to balance yourself a little bit but these centric calf drops are are where you simply on one leg you do a calf raise and then you slowly lower down calf raise slowly lower down and I like to do these I typically do 10 reps on each, so I do 10 on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, and the first set with each one will have a straight knee, and the second set with, with each one will have a bent knee, and this changes up kind of how it hits the, the calf muscles a bit. So that's the routine. Uh, 
hope you like it. It's real simple, real simple, real easy. It only takes a few minutes. And last thing to keep in mind is the first time you do this, just do one set of like 10 reps each, um, especially these one-legged deadlifts and the lunges with the reach. They might feel easy, but they could really give you some, some intense delayed onset muscle soreness the next day in that kind of high hamstring, low glute area. So don't overdo it. I don't want you to do this and not be able to walk the next day. So keep it easy the first time. Be mindful of what you did the first time, the second time, and then just progress a little bit each time. Be mindful of what you did and how you feel the next day. We don't want you to not be able to walk or run the next day but you should maybe feel a little bit of fatigue and soreness. And uh, yeah, so do this. It'll make you stronger. It'll make you a better runner. And um, I hope you enjoy it.